Hey guys, what's going on? Massive Beats here. Another Logic 10.5 live loops session here. This new Logic feature. And hey, I'm even using an iPad here with Logic Remote to trigger those colorful cells. You can do it any way you want it. You can even run the effects from an iPad. This is here the master effects, those remix effects for filters. All of that's coming right now from an iPad, uh, I'm sorry, from MacBook Pro 13 inch. You can even use the touch bar or a, a MIDI uh, board here like the Launchpad Pro to trigger those cells. Right now, the possibilities, the flexibility in Logic is just absolutely fantastic. You can customize it any way you want. There's absolutely no excuse not to do what you want to do. Even got a machine here hooked in as a MIDI and a mix controller. Uh, for me, one of the big things is to always set up the session first. Uh, here on the iPad, I can access my compressors and my EQs, and I can also use it uh, to get the mix levels right. Of course, you can record all these mix automations with writing, um, and so I can do that for the purpose of this session. Uh, what you're going to see me do is all on the computer so you can see my mouse clicks a little bit better. Uh, but normally I would do this on the iPad. It's a tactile experience. It's a lot of fun. Pretty similar to GarageBand on the iPad and on macOS. So you can always import that and use it. But let's get started with the session, shall we?
as you probably saw, I enabled uh, both recording options. So that means we recorded everything uh, into the timeline. And we can now make our edits. If you click the button to activate the timeline, uh, it'll get its full colors back. And then we can see all our mistakes or things we didn't like. But it's a good starting point. Um, so I usually go back in then, start doing fine adjustments, go back in and like, okay, look, this automation didn't make sense here. I was a little bit too, you know, going a little bit too crazy here. All of that, as you can see, got recorded, all my movements. So um, it's very easy to correct it or even re-record it. But if you're in a moment, hey. Yeah, so we can zoom back in and even record, even like do effects on top of that. Very uh, user-friendly to be used. Anyways, these remix effects are really cool. They're very easy to use, save you a lot of time, not too much editing needed. It's easy to get carried away with them. They just they sound so good out of the box. That's it for now. I'm going to mix this track. Massive Beats out.